Okay. Now I told you we were going to paint this little fella. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And I have all my paints laid out here. Got my figure. Got it cleaned up. And uh, we're going to start working on him. And uh, once again, we're going to follow the same type of uh, situation that, uh, that we did with the other one. As far as painting is concerned. I've got my water. I've got my... Uh, Paint. This is a uh, burnt umber that I'm going to work on the uh, hat with. That uh, just pigmentation. It's uh, like I said. It's just acrylic colors. And uh, here we go. We're going we're going to work on that hat first of all. There we go. This is a this is a burnt umber color that we're going to do for the hat. And uh, sort of go around it just like that, dipping my brush into the, as I've told you, dipping my brush into the uh, paint so that whenever it goes on and when it dries, it's going to have sort of a wash look. It's not going to be so thick. Now this is the part, I'll tell you the truth, I love the car, but I'm not a, I'm not a person that really loves to do a lot of painting. Uh, I know that's part of creating the figures and uh, uh, doing it, but this is the part that I, I'm not as crazy about, but it's the part that has to be done. A lot of men, they, they have wives that uh, do their own painting, that will paint the figure and uh, for them. And I think that's fantastic. I'll tell you what. Uh, unfortunately, my wife has not taken on that duty. I don't see any it, it in the near future. So I'm going to have to uh, take care of this myself. Uh, as you can see, I'm going all the way underneath the brim of the hat with this uh, burn umber. And then I'm going to go to the top of here. I'm going to get a little bit bigger brush uh, because this is a little bit... Uh, larger area and like I said each time I'm dipping my you can see I'm dipping my uh, uh, brush in the water that's so that the paint will go on with a uh, as a wash not as a real thick thick color so that the wood can show through. The, pur the purpose, as I've said before, to carve is once you spend a lot of time carving something, you don't want to sit there and put a, a, a real strong coat of paint on it because what you, what you have then is that you have a uh, problem with it looking plastic. And you don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen at all. So, there we go. Well, I missed a little spot up here. All right. Now we've got the uh, uh, brim of the hat painted with a burn umber right now. Okay, let me kind of clean these brushes a little bit. Put the cap back on here. Now, uh, I think I'm going to do the uh, the boots with a with a black. Here's my black. I'm going to go to that. Same thing as we see right here. Now the black, you, you really need to, uh, because it's got such a, it's such a strong color, you want to be sure and have plenty of uh, water with the black because it will go on too thick. And it's such a dominating color, as you can see. It, even washing it down, it's going to uh, come on with a, a strong, dark, dark color. So you have to be kind of careful with the black. 
Well, let me go ahead and get this old, this one over here, so to work around it just with a larger brush. Now, these brushes, these are not, you know, what you would call professional brushes. I know a lot of people uh, use much more professional brushes, and but uh, for these little, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There you go. I'm trying to position this where you can see it, and sometimes in doing that, I uh, it's kind of hard to do. But all I'm doing is just simply uh, painting these these boots black. Trying to be kind of careful, not get too much or get any of the black on the pants themselves, because we're gonna. We're going to paint them uh, sort of a, a jean color. All right, see? We've got the, we've got the boots painted black now. Okay. Let me hit a little area in here that I kind of missed. You just have to kind of look at it close enough, see what you got. So, we've got his boots painted, and we've got his hat painted. Okay?